Now, the unfortunate irony of this tragedy is that the fire struck just as fire safety week begins. It was the sad example fire officials use today of what can go wrong when the proper precautions aren't in place. It was the message today as a ceremony and exhibition marking fire safety week opened at the Mullet Marathon. LaDawn Davis was there as the National Security Minister issued a warning to the wider public and helped a family grieve. Moments after officially launching Fire Services Week, Minister of National Security Dr. Vernon Nottage visited the Homestead Avenue area to pay his respects to the six people who perished in an early morning blaze. This is a, an unspeakable tragedy and one that I think the neighbors will have a very difficult time um, dealing with because in these communities people are so close to each other, they know each other very well. and. Um, it's a kind of incident that can easily happen. And I, and I'm, I'm really speechless. I'm, I, I came because I needed to see what happened, what the circumstances were, because we have to do everything that we can to prevent occurrences like this. Now that was just one of the many deadly fires firefighters have had to battle this year. From January to August, four such deaths were recorded and unfortunately, the family of six would be added to that number. Response Team Sergeant Anthony Mitchell says firefighting can be a bit risky, but saving a life is more rewarding. He shared these safety tips. A lot of homes in the Bahamas now that have uh, security bars. And one thing I would recommend that uh, when you put in security bars in your home, that you leave at least one bedroom with a hinge on your security bars that in the event of a fire or any emergency uh, persons in that house will be, be, will be able to escape and get through that roof and, uh, in a safe way. So to assist firefighters to carry out their jobs more effectively, Minister of National Security Dr. Bernard Nottage says the government will continue to make the necessary investments to ensure that firefighters respond in a timely fashion. On our promise, the government has to deliver five new state-of-the-art fire appliances, four 1,000 gallons capacity pumper trucks, and one 2,000 gallons water capacity tanker truck. These vehicles are expected to serve the Bahamian communities well into the future. My government will increase the level of human resources within fire services by recruiting a squad of 30 officers. Following the required training and police duties and fire science, they will be fully equipped to serve our community. On Tuesday, fire officials will stage a mock evacuation drill followed by a smoke detection drive on Wednesday. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.